Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Issaquah, Washington at the Triple X Root Beer Drive-In for one of the largest gatherings of Tri-5 Chevys in the country. From bone stock to some of the most elaborate customs on the planet, they're all here in God's country. So joining me now is Bud Worley, the official ambassador of this Tri-5 extravaganza. Thank you, Dennis. Hey, it was a pleasure having you here. Great to be here. What a beautiful day and what a beautiful show. Oh, yes, it is. We have approximately 250 cars here, which we believe is the largest Tri-5 show in the nation. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful cars. From, like you say, from stock to uh, some of the heavily modified cars. Uh, it's just phenomenal. It's all pretty cool, yeah. isn't it? Well, I know you're a busy man. There's still cars rolling in. But I say, let's get around and show me some of your things. Yeah, let's do. All right, let's okay. go. Steve, this is a uh, screaming orange custom here. Beautiful 57, and it really pops. Oh, you bet. What is this color? Well, actually, I, I call it uh, Ginger Pearl. It's a one of a kind creation, so a I guess I got the name. Blend. Oh, a special it's a blend. Special blend, all right. Man, Ginger Pearl, beautiful, beautiful car. And uh, is, is this one you built, or I designed the car, and I had it built by quite a few different craftsmen. But man, it's the interior. Oh yeah. That, uh, oh, that just yeah. makes this car. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Yeah, they come together. That's the important thing. A lot of people don't get the upholstery right to go with the exterior yeah. color. Well, it's, it's white, but it's not. It's not really. It's, it's called French vanilla. French vanilla. Air that sounds a lot better than off white, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Much trendier. And you you know, really, you've uh, you haven't done a heck of a lot of hacking and chopping to the dash. That looks reasonably standard. I just went through and removed all the things that weren't necessary. Uh -huh. Took out the old-fashioned gauges, uh, removed the turn signals, the idiot lights, things like that. Put in Dakota Digital and just kind of cleaned it up, and but kept the lines that yeah. were originally there. She looks nice. Six-speed transmission. Oh yeah, you bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you've also you've like taken about every doodad and bobble and handle off this car. It's really clean. There's nothing left. There's nothing uh, you shaved you know, at all. Strenuous. Right? Yes. And even your inserts here, you've left those, but they're not standard either. No, actually I had these made for the car because the inserts uh, on 57s, the stock ones, had emblems right. and, and script on here. So this is just a brushed aluminum just clean, right? Right. Do you have uh, something worthy of that six speed under the hood? Uh, yeah, you, uh, might, yeah? you yeah. might find it to be so. <laughs> I, you know, yeah. I sort of figured you might. I, well, let's, let's have a look at this, right, baby. we'll do that. You got a hood prop there? Yeah, this holds it right at the height that I like. 502 crate engine? Oh yeah, yeah, right straight out of Chevrolet. Man. Actually, we've modified it quite a bit. It came with a carburetor, and uh, I took and removed all that, put in this Axel fuel injection unit, right. built a custom plenum for them. You yeah, know. Now, now this looks, I mean, it almost looks like Ram Air, but what's the, what are these? Actually, what that is, is an air induction system. Uh, in 1957, the Chevrolets were the only ones that took in air from the headlights. That's right, yeah, for the Remember heater that? and the vent, right? Yeah. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. And I wasn't using that anymore, so I, I ran the air induction system down to it, and I used the air from above the headlights. Oh, that's really cool. That's a great idea, man. Well, I'm glad you brought this baby out. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thank you, You sir. got a really sweet machine. Thanks. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Roger, beautiful 56, very black <laughs> yes. and very low. But you've done some, some really, really unique stuff to this car. I mean, you've kept the body looking pretty stock, mm -hmm. but boy, that's where it ends. Right. And you built this all yourself, right? Yes. Tell me about, tell me what all you've done here. Well, I basically took a 2000 Camaro, took all the running gear, engine, everything I could get out of the car and put into this car. And how did it, did it fit? Yeah, with a little little finessing, you little can make anything fit. Finagle here, finagle there. Like I was telling you before, I saw a 57 Pontiac on your show with a Firebird dash in it, so I knew it fit. It could be done. Yeah, it so could I, be done. I said, I can do that. And, and you did. I mean, look at this interior. This is just unbelievable. You, you know, it looks like a 56 on the outside, and you got it so low, I really got to get down here. <laughs> but you've got a 2000 Camaro in there. Right, basically, yeah. Complete with airbags? Right. But you know, it looks like it was meant to be. Yes. That's a, that was the plan. Man. And it's, and it's black, and that has got to be the most unforgiving color yeah, in the I, world. I painted it twice myself, and I turned it over <laughs> to a friend of mine, Doug Warren. Here to you do, do it. The final, yeah. <laughs> can, I, right. can I open up the trunk? Sure. I just lift up? 
Because yeah. you got it. I saw that earlier. It's, that's great. I mean, you know, you just it's really tasteful. So you got what a, a CD changer in CD there? CD changer, and then I've got a little air door that hides all the air ride stuff. And I've got a CNC mill at home, so I can make oh, so, all these things. So you just do this at home in your spare time, <laughs> yeah, right? My spare time. <laughs> wow. Gosh, you padded the hinges and everything. It's just, just beautiful. Well, well let's you. you know, it's got to be great under the hood too. I mean, I, I would expect nothing less. Yeah. Well, that's not a Camaro. Well, it's Corvette covers, because oh, we don't make covers for Firebirds or Camaro. So. <laughs> and have you done any work to it, or is it plenty strong enough just it's to It's got shoot? headers on it, but other than that, it's plenty strong. It's yeah. 27 miles a gallon, 320 horsepower. How could you go wrong? How could you go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's, there's so many things that I think are special about this car, but your front license plate was, you know. You I like, like that, I huh? do like you that, like I that? do like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I find another, a long lost relative there that builds go. cars. How yes. great is that, huh? So you're having a good time today too? Great, I can't believe the cars that are here. It is the quality it is incredible, of cars, isn't it? It's incredible. Yeah. And the weather's fabulous. I mean, what a day. That too. At the Triple X. Yeah. yeah. Roger, you do some fabulous work, man. Thank you. Thanks for bringing her out today. You bet. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Ralph, a stock 56 Chev. Yeah. We see fewer of these all the time. Everybody wants to tweak them. Yeah, I have preferred to do mine stock. Well, that's pretty obvious, because this baby is like a time capsule. Have you had this long? I've had it for 28 years. That's long. In my yeah. book, that's long. Yeah. <laughs> I started working on it, and then I had to raise a family. Yeah, yeah, that slows yeah. you down, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, but uh, we got it back together. And so did you have to do everything? Yes, I did everything from uh, front to back. Wow. The color is? It's Nassau blue and India ivory. And the Nassau, color. yeah, and that's but it's a somewhat rare color. I mean, you, you tend to see the turquoise a lot more than this light blue, this powder blue. That's true. The but, turquoise is very popular. Yeah, but this is pretty. And your interior, I just, I love the '50s interiors. I mean, if this isn't the '50s, I don't know what is. Oh yeah, it's it's very comfortable and easy to ride in. And all the way back to the back, just again, a beautiful lines on this car. I think the '56 is just a gorgeous car, and I love the turn down exhaust tips and th that was also a factory option. yes it was for dual exhaust man well is it as stock under the hood as it is everywhere else oh you bet it is well let's have a look at that so the engine in this car would be a 265 265 VA. yeah and it's a three-speed overdrive and right down to the oil bath air cleaner oh you gotta love it well that's that's just about as stock as it gets uh yeah I, we did it as best we could to bring it back to our original and you've, you, I mean, you've really done some nice detail work. And where'd you, where did you come from? Um, from Beaverton, Oregon. About how far? Oh, 150 miles. Now, did so. you drive it up? Your trailer up? Oh, we drove it up. Yes. We drive this, it everywhere. This beautiful stock car you drove. Oh, that's, yeah. Yes, I love that. Absolutely. And are you having a great time? Is this oh, incredible? This is a great show. This, uh, it's fabulous uh, having this many cars of this vintage in one place. Yeah. It's, it's Tri Five Heaven, isn't it? It is. <laughs> well, hey, man, I love this car. You've done a beautiful job on it. Thank you very much. Well, Barry, this is an absolutely beautiful 55. Looks pretty darn stock. Well, thank you, Dennis. It's about 95%. But is it, the color is different. Is that is that a correct color? Yeah, it's uh, dust rose. It's oh, not a common okay. color, but uh, I, I like it. I had one in, uh, in the late 60s. Uh, Same after color high and school. everything? Yeah, just wow. like it. So you're reliving your youth. Oh, exactly. As we all are trying yeah, to. <laughs> yes. well, beautiful, beautiful car. And, and you've done an awful nice job on it. Did you have to restore it? Yes, we uh, took it clear down and uh, paint job, chrome, everything it needed. Where did it live most of its life? Uh, started in uh, Oakland, California, <clears throat> and ended up in Texas. So it was pretty rust free, I would imagine. Very dry car. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Now, how about the interior? Because the, the white and maroon, was that? Uh, well, in take a little license there, a little yeah, <laughs> In '55, they uh, this was gray, Ooh. and this was uh, uh, kind of a off-white. So you you <laughs> I, upgraded it. Yeah, I thought uh, you know General Motors would have listened to me. <laughs> if only they would have. But I tell you, gorgeous car, beautiful car, stock and everything. Thank but you. it's what you're pulling that. That oh, there is in. something following there me. Is I something what it following was. <laughs> you need to get that rearview mirror fixed. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do we have here? This is a. It's a 1958 Bellboy. A Bellboy. Yeah. And, and it was, I mean, this is how it was made, the fins and everything? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And where were these made? In Seattle. So it's, it's a Pacific Northwestern? Right. But, well, mm -hmm. isn't that nice? Yeah, it's painted like the car except opposite. You did the flip-flop? Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. And you know, if you look at the trim, it really looks like it was made for this car. I mean, it really <laughs> kind of follows, doesn't it? Yeah, with the downdraft of the uh, paint in the back. And this, uh, this maroon and white interior, that's kind of how it came? That's the pattern. I just did oh, it in a different color. Is that nice? Mm -hmm. 
Boy, it's absolutely beautiful. So, I mean, are you having fun today? Oh, this is just, I've, this is one of the best car shows I've ever been Isn't it to. great? It is. I mean, where are you going to see this many Tri-5s? Especially at a Triple X. So Takes you back, just, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Takes yeah. you back. Yeah. Oh, you were probably you were probably cruising to the Triple X in your original. Oh, 55. we had one in Olympia. There you I'm go. Not very far from there. There you and, go. Uh, oh yes, we made a few turns through there. <laughs> <laughs> well, very beautiful car, beautiful well, boat. You. When you put that thing in the water, I want to go for a, a cruise. I'll give you a call. All right, deal. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Bob, this is a um, pretty sweet little 55 Nomad. You've done some work on it, though, haven't you? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. It's, uh, it's been totally customized. It all flows together. I love the back. I love how you've molded the, the seat backs. That's that's really a cool idea. Where'd you come up with that? Uh, the body shop uh, come up with the design. I told them I wanted to look, be able to look straight through the car and see the console all the way through. And they, they kind of come up with this fiberglass piece here they made. And it's really nice, you know, the fact the same color as the car, and then you got the, you know, the kind of camel interior. It's yes, a nice contrast. Uh -huh. What is the color? It's, it's, it's a purple, it, right? It's a house of colors, candy purple. And what did you name the car? Showtime. Showtime. <laughs> well, you know, when I first saw it, I thought it's a 56 because I didn't see the fuel door over here. No, but you've it, obviously cut it in, right? Yeah, it's been relocated. So you open that up here, and... And it opens just, electronically. It does. And I can show you that. Well, lay it on me. Well, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, man. We just haven't found anybody could fill it up for us. <laughs> Close it up. I want to no. see it do its, its trick in reverse. That's, is that a custom deal or? Uh, there's a company in Ohio, that the makes Rocky, them? Rocky Hinge Company in Ohio. Very cool. Very cool. And also, the you know, it looks like you got a little bit of chop on it, do you? It's got an inch and a half chop on it, and then uh, and the we windows had, we had custom. the glass uh, company in Pennsylvania build that for us, and it's. Uh, it's all one piece window and it's a little bit of a smoky smoke, tint. Yes, oh, smoky very tint. nice, very nice. But the interior is just, it's gorgeous. And it's uh, its ultra leather material and uh, and it's easy to keep clean. It's very soft. <laughs> <laughs> and and of course, you weren't messing around up front either. What do we have here, a 502 injected, right? It's stream performance uh, 502, uh, injected 502. Well, it looks like you had to have a pretty good shoehorn to get that in there. I mean, there's some modification on the firewall, isn't yeah, there? The body, the body shop did that. They re, uh, redesigned the firewall so the heads could fit back better. Man. Now, it's, it's obviously a show car. Does, I mean, does it run at all? It's pretty fast. Pretty I've, fast? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, we show it mostly. Uh, one time I did rip the rear end out of it, so I... And yeah. by that, you don't mean you took it out. You no, mean you I tore it spun out. It out yeah. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Don't you hate it when that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Man, people seem so, to be uh, seem to be liking this car, though. Oh yeah, it gets lots of attention. Yeah. So. Well, it's it's it is a a, a showstopper. Well, it's showtime, right? Showtime. Hey, Bob. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. Cool car. Man, nothing like a beautiful day in Seattle to bring out the Tri Five Chevys. Nearly 270 of them showed up before it was all said and done today. So if you find yourself in the Seattle area in the latter part of August, you got to stop by the Triple X Root Beer Drive-In and check this out.